based on, in our case, the, our employee rate. And you can work as many hours as is okay for you and the employee that they have time for. And then we'll charge you on that rate. If you're talking about something like a bookkeeping firm or if you're talking about a law firm, then it's often the case that you don't know because you don't know exactly what the job is going to be like. If you do know what the job is going to be and it's a set job, you do it a bunch of times, it's a repetitive task, then you might not want to do it by hourly rate. You might want to instead just charge a fixed amount for that particular service. However, if you're doing something that you don't know exactly how long it's going to take because it, this is a completely new or a different structure, different client, has has unique needs, then the hourly rate might be the only way to go and, you, and you're going to have to just track those billable times and then charge based on that. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this down and say, let's do the same kind of thing and say this is for Erica. So the second month for Erica and the, I'll just call her Erica and the rate is going to be for her. We're going to say 115. She's a 115 guitar instructor. She's in demand, Erica is. So we'll charge a little bit more for her guitar lessons. Her particular style apparently is this is the cool thing these days for guitar. So she's got like finger picking or something. I don't know. But on Monday, on Monday and Wednesday, customer three, we're calling it, she worked with two hours and two hours, Monday, Wednesday, and then we have customer four on Tuesday and Thursday. So then we're just going to sum that up. So that's going to be total eight hours for, for the four customers. Now we're going to have to bill these four customers, which we will do in a future presentation. For now, let's just add them to our sub ledger. So we know that we're going to have to track those new customers. So I'll add them to my sub ledger and then we'll create invoices in essence or transactions similar to what would be created if an invoice was created for a service item. So now we're in our sub ledger. Let's just add, we had like four new customers. So I got to add like four. Let's, let's copy from here all the way over to CO from the skinny to CO control C. And I'm going to paste that in the skinny here, right click and insert, not paste, insert the copied cells into the skinny. And then I'll delete the activity. So delete the activity. So we're starting at zero. And deleting the activity, starting at zero, deleting the activity, starting at zero, deleting the activity, and starting at zero, deleting the activity and the name. And then we're just going to call this customer one, two, three, and four for the generic names we made up. That's super lazy. You couldn't even come up with a name. It was hard because then I misspell the name. Once I come up with it, I got to come up with the name and then spell it right. So whatever. Customer one, customer two, customer three, three, and customer four. Customer four. I shouldn't even continue with this problem if it's going to be so generic without even fake customer names. Let's go ahead and add that to our total double click on this one. Go to the end of it and we're going to add those four customers. So we're going to say at the end, this one plus this one plus this one plus this one. Okay. So now we've got everything we need to set up our invoices for the, to bill out the time for our staff, which we'll do next time.